All the usual suspects still in the draw for the men's singles. Lokan Yu and Victor Axelsen, that's going to be a huge match. And uh, the winner of that will play either uh, Rustavito or Christie in the All Indonesian quarterfinal. And the winner of this match will play the winner of a match that's actually happening on court one right now Shiyu Chi versus Kodai Nairoka. And you can see that match happening on court one currently 16 14 to Kodai. As we wait for our men singles players to enter the arena. Now you can hear the home support. Now I was just saying, Kirsty, if you think about it, home support can really boost you um, in a situation like this. Absolutely, yeah. I've first hand experience of uh, being boosted by a home crowd. I've played many, many tournaments in the Emirates Arena, which is. 15 minutes from my house. Uh, <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, uh, it's a really nice opportunity. Like, we travel the world year-round, and there's not many times that our friends and, and family... And now you can just take a bus or well, take yeah. a cab. Well, yeah, not many times like that your friends and family get to, like, come and watch you perform. That's, That's brilliant. That's so. important, yeah. So, Lu Guangzhou is going to benefit from that home support. Xi Yuqi is currently benefiting from it in court one. And it is another... China Japan uh, tie 2 2. Everything to play for here. Last time they met was about a month ago, just over a month ago at Korea Open. Well, it is a testament to the riches of men's singles players enjoyed by both China and Japan. That's, they have so many players. Yes, Kento Momota is still the defending champion in the men's singles based on the 2019 last time they were out. Lu Guangzhou, of course, is the perennial quarter-finalist this year, the 26-year-old from Jiangsu. That's right here, I'm just talking about home support. Uh, that's close enough in terms of province. Currently ranked 15th, he was quarter-finalist in Korea, the Thai Open, the German Open, and the Indonesia Masters as well. Uh, dispatched of Li Shi Feng in 53 minutes. That's admirable. And Angus and Karlong, he's a difficult opponent as well. 49 minutes in round one. Straight games, flawless. Hasn't dropped a game yet. And Kanta Tsunayama on paper would be the favorite here uh, as he has had a better set of results. He was a runner up in Spain, quarter finalist at the Indonesia Masters. and. Uh, bronze medal is third at the Malaysia Open right at the start of the year. Kind of dropped off after that a little bit. A 27-year-old, but he's looking for his... Well, this is his fourth quarterfinal, and he's looking for his third semi-final. And that's a good conversion rate. Um, and how about that? Anthony Sinisuka Ginting, granted, still getting over a personal loss. Uh, Anthony, and this is his first tournament back in 66 minutes. Three games. And Lee Chuk Yu from Hong Kong, that was far more comprehensive. Nine and eight. And it's a tough one to call. Uh, Lu Guangzhou looking for his fifth. Well, this is his fifth quarterfinal. Looking for his first semifinal after those four other quarters. So let's just see how much this home support can boost him. Ready to play? So I'm part of this one, Fine Darwin from India. And his service judge is Roberta's Tommy Oscarino. Kanda, Kanda. Well, we haven't even started yet. Kanda's getting a bit of a reprimand for keeping a clean bag. Mm -hmm. Can't have anything. Those little protocols. <laughs> yeah. They, have, they do not stand for it. God forbid your towel. Yeah, Lips should over be, the side. Should be hanging off. But them's the rules. Them is the rules. <laughs> 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 
Oh, this is going to pose a little bit of a problem for the home fans here. Now they have two players to support on two separate courts. Here's one Zhu playing in the white, and we'll be starting with the wind at his back. Ladies and gentlemen, on the right, Sandra Tsuneyama, Japan. And on the left, Lu Guangzhou, China. Lu Guangzhou to serve. Lock all. Play. First attack by so Lu Doesn't work One out for him. Love. That's lovely. Excellent net exchange. Just the confidence to go back onto that net. Nick's a net card. Oh, I'm not happy already. Two points in. Good, sneaking up so on that so net, Suniyama, mopping up any loose, neutralising shot that would come in like that, taking it over a hand rather than waiting to play a tight spin net. Pushed up nicely. A little bit of a tumble off the net. Oh, that's a nice, clear winner. Oh. Made the Three, most of that. Two. He's got a good action. Jumps up nicely, turns the torso, picks his spot. So it's going to be on a 3 2 up. It oh. was a late take. Oh. Four, it wasn't really that late, it was just a little bit mistimed, I think, in terms of. Picking yeah. it up and that just gave Santa all that time to pick where he was going to put it. Oh, okay. it's, it's quality. That's what I meant about sport for choice, really. China and Japan. China's Whoa. side, you've got Lu Guangzhou, Li Shifeng, Wang Hongyang, it's all sorts of men's singles players creeping up, really. Uh, in Japan, Nishimoto, Tsunayama, Narioka. I feel bad leaving Momoto out of that, but he really is still on the comeback trail from about two years ago. Yeah, he's never managed to quite find that magic no. again that he yeah. had. But when he was... When oh, he started, it was... Wow like poetry. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Oh, such a good little game of chess being played here. Yeah, it's a great Until rally. someone sees an opportunity. <laughs> yeah. Sudiyama just made sure just to so, so really... What? Triple right. check. Yeah, triple right. check that and make sure that he was reminding Liu Guangzhou that that is out. You've got to in this hall. It's kind of deceptively tricky yeah. to know where that's going to end up. So 5-3, Suniyama with the first little mini break. He's 
getting a lot of reward by pushing it back to back court right now. Oh. <laughs> Open court. Those are the hardest ones sometimes. So throw off, four, five. That was so well worked, that little in to out, and oh, it took a little neck cord. Yeah, that's it why. It tipped the neck cords. Not as easy exactly as Exactly where he was going to go. So Lu Guangzhou beginning to feel the pressure. Clear by Sunayama. Really good control by Lu Guangzhou just to to be finding this back line. Oh, whichever way this is called, this Lu is going to be a challenge. I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's worth in. it. Absolutely worth it. It's going to be close. That's Definitely. Sure. Yeah. Great shot. Good call. Oh. Oh, they are evenly matched, as I said, the Challenge. world Remain. rankings. Sometimes get it absolutely spot on. And Kanta is 17. So, so well. Guangzhou is 15. Six, four. Right now, they're having a great battle. Play. Again, slightly late take at the back. Seven, Gives Kanta four. all those options as to where he's going to put it. Just a little reluctancy in there, a little tentativeness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, yeah, little hesitations that just plug milliseconds. That can make all the difference. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just enough. Oh, what's Four. important is he put it on the right side at yeah. last. You know, I said I think if it had gone to the forehand, it could have been a different situation. Well, he's eight four up now. He's definitely looking good for that side. Yeah, the side that Sunyama is on is definitely the one with the most freedom to express yourself. Express yourself, yeah. Play what you want. Oh, it's well placed. Nice. Pinpoint. Nice. nice one. Yeah, go on, shoot. Five, eight. Nice pace that this match is evolving at. Seven minutes on court. Eight, five on the board. Great footwork from Kanta Sunayama. Oh. <sighs> Ambitious from Guangzhou. So we saw nine. Five. Yeah, just too much off balance to go for something with precision on that one. Retrieved. Yeah, really well retrieved. And Nine. then to compose yourself and fire off the winner. Ten, five. Yeah, really nicely brought down. Looks like he's going to go up with all the power in the world. And then just adds a little bit of slice. Makes Lu Guangzhou move his feet that one extra step. Just out of reach. Well, his winners have been good enough. But his setup has been really good so far. Again, just not quite finding the range he wants. Lu Guangzhou on that left side. 
So 11-5 at the first mid-game interval and things looking good for Kanta Tsuniyama. seems to be running like clockwork so far for the Japanese team. The singles coach, Kaori Imabepu, didn't really spend that much time talking to Kanta. I think basically she said if it's not broken, not keep going. To yeah. it. So far, so good. Absolutely. And he starts again to another point, 12-5. wide it's just trying to find bring that in. Five. said it looks suspiciously like it caught the wind right at the back right at the end yeah it's, it's difficult to judge whether it's caught the wind before it reaches his racket which causes the misjudgment or if it's after it's left his racket and then the stray shot comes yeah but i do think uh Lu Guangzhou is just snatching at a few kind of yeah. Half-baked opportunities rather than playing the rally out longer and waiting, waiting for, for a the better opportunity for yeah. the yeah the absolute one. So it's over. Six thirteen. No chance here for him. Claw back into this lead. Oh, oh that really drifted. So it's over. 14, 6. <laughs> Lucky for Lu Guangzhou. Yeah. And that's uh, so so well. out. 7, 14. He was just watching that. Suniyama's composure at the net is so impressive. Yeah, he's been moving really calmly, actually. Yeah. Court coverage. Natural and vertical, it's been great. Shot selection's been good, execution's been good. Not perfect, but good enough. And I said if you've got those three things yep. all lined up, then you're going to be pretty hard to beat. Hey, he's gone for that. Wow. That's that too high. up on that net again. Oh. <laughs> ah. It's that late take again. This yep. time too late. Much too late. He's had a couple of uh, points from correct judgments in that backcourt, but he's still not comfortable there. Yeah, he's not comfortable. That's the exact term. He's just a little bit edgy on it, and I think that's what Sunayama's going to try and make the most of and exploit. 
I think for Louis Guangzhou it's a case of either take it or don't. I think if you half bake it, it's not going to be a good, not good option. It's only going to end in tears, yeah. as they say. So 15-10, and Suriyama has effectively set up a four-point barrier. He's never really been less than four points ahead. And he's in the perfect position here to launch an attack to close out this first game. Fantastic scheduling here all week, and what we saw earlier with the sweep of women's singles has now been replaced with a sweep of men's singles as Jonathan Christie and Shesat Hiren Rushtavito, who remember is the player that actually filled the spot from world champion Kunlevit Vitisan when he withdrew. Look at him, he's still here, yeah. doing very well. Promoted from the reserves 16 11 for Sunoyama on our court. Cheeky little net card to help that one die off. Yep, he's mixing it up quite well. Oh. That's gone wide, can't afford that. Lu Guangzhou. 17, 11. Now, he's getting into that mathematical chance, really, unless he goes on a huge run of points, which we haven't seen him do. This is edging towards the Japanese player. And he's left that yeah. well. It's ones like that that Luke going do on this side particularly. He's going to have to be careful with those ones. When you get into a kind of clearing battle and you want to just put that little extra punch on it, it's not hugely possible from this side without yeah. it traveling out. That's nice. Great, great response. I'd say Suniyama has Sonsoma, yet to Grant open up and go a full cross court smash. That I don't think we've seen that no, yet. No, we haven't seen that. So yet. he's really been setting up that straight line, that straight smash. And fair yeah, play to Luke Wang Zhu for, for closing it down. Interesting to see if he persists or if he changes it up. Good whip cross oh. point, a little net hold. Footwork let him down. It was that whip cross court, and then that little hold and keep wipe, keep yeah. wipe. held straight. It's nice. There's no way physics was going to allow him to get <laughs> that position. Unless he could teleport to that part of the court. 13-18, a little bit of a comeback, but I still fully expect Sunayama to take this first game based on what we've seen so far. Lu Guanju just hasn't put a run of points together. A couple of mistakes like that might help him though. Well, I'd still be very surprised. I think Sunayama still knows he's in control. Yeah. He has the, the control of this match. And he doesn't look like he's going like to rush points or rush shots. Yeah. It looks like he's just going to play out the rallies. Those mistakes will come, of course. But we haven't seen Lu Guangzhou put in more than a two or three point run. This, in fact, I think is the biggest one that we've seen. That was beautifully played by Suniyama. Absolutely, just that willingness to 
attack, 19, follow up, 14. and do it all again, as long as yeah. it takes. Well, until that mistake turns up. And there will, a mistake will come, yeah. The quality of it is incredible. So, 19-14. And Kanta Suniyama, two points away from one foot in the semis. Ah, uh, there's the cross smash. First one. Yeah. Effective game as well. Game point. Six game game. points. And he's looked in good stead for it. Movement by Suniyama, who set himself up again for yeah. a winner. We just knew yeah. it was coming. Yeah. Close game. One so 21 14 in just 20 minutes. 21 14. Seconds, for two, 20 seconds. Game. So back on court for game two. And Play. what can Lu Guangzhou do to offset this steady, calm progression of Kanta Tsuniyama? Nicely dug out by Tsuniyama. And there's a great cross court to kick it all off. One low. So far found his range even off his first point from this other side of the court. Again goes with the same. Oh, that's a very risky shot into that corner. So with so a broken well. string. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> that's why it looks so out of place. Yeah. With well, a full set of strings, he would never have made He's that He's fine. The racket <laughs> isn't. That's yeah. it. by Sunayama. Been put in some difficult positions, but he's moved around well to get there. And he's just plugging that backhand side. 
sure he's going to switch to forehand soon. Oh, that's a very ambitious shot. Oh, and the net cord, and I'm sure this will be finished off has nicely. To, has to be, has to be. Again, as you said, just waiting for the absolute pinch opportunity before he can kill that off. Yeah, Sunyama. Although we're only three points into this second set. I mean, it must be difficult. As a player, you can, you can tell me if, if you've got, say, two or three of these half opportunities, it must be so tempting to kill those off. That's the, yeah, that's the, 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 the most difficult thing to, to judge as a player. What's a, an opportunity and what's what a... What isn't, yeah. Yeah, what isn't. And the difference is a couple of centimetres. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Whether it's your foot positioning or whether it's the shuttle positioning. Yeah. Oh, nice little snap down yeah. from Le Guangzhou. Mesmerizing stuff. And right now he's just answering everything that Lu Guangzhou is firing at him. And then again, oh, it's beautiful. Uh, the movement back, three, the little one. arc of the feet. And then the trajectory on that final winner was brilliant. There you go, a couple of steps back, turns the body nicely, fires it down. Beautiful stuff. for that winner now settling into the rally now all that applause that you're hearing was not for that wonderful shot from Sunayama it's the fact that Chi Uchi and Kota Naroka have now in their third and deciding game Crowd are loving it. We caught one. Again, Sunayama is just happy to sit through these rallies. Liu Guangzhou is running out of ideas. The cool Kenny cam comes back. Yeah, cool cam collective collectiveness of uh, Sunayama. Oh, that oh, one found was a way. finally too much for him. He found a way eventually. Even then, Sunyama got a racket to it. <laughs> but look at the shot, yeah, look at the shot he needed to, to get to it, and still, Sunyama got a racket to it. Yeah. Close, <laughs> it was actually close. Great attacking, great defending. to switch it on it's a matter of time as to when he was going to fire it off but it looks even when he is in a full attacking mode he always is he is always willing to follow up it's never yeah. like a hit fall out the court i'm never going to get the next one he's always in such good body yeah. position and he's always willing to follow Moving that on. next one yeah, up. Yeah. yeah hit and move hit and move hit and move yeah and in this game especially well definitely in the first game the direction that he's moving in it's almost like he's predicted how that rally's going to go it might look like amazing recoveries but a lot of it is down to knowing exactly what side of the court in terms of left and right in terms of uh, depth front mid back And of course, the most important thing, timing, His rhythm has been great. When great players start playing like that, it is literally like dancing. It's like a dance movement when they move. Yeah. Quite often, I would think if you were to show someone that doesn't know badminton at all, 
the top level players playing. I don't think that's a great reflection because I think they make it look too easy. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Yeah. You should go and watch a Sunday match where they're actually rocking back exactly. and forth and running out of breath. And, but to actually get this type of movement that we're seeing from Kanta Sunuyama, it takes a lot of physical energy. It takes great breathing. I mean, you missed that one. It takes great foresight and, of course, great control. Absolutely. And for being the one of the two that's slightly smaller in stature, his presence on the court feels yeah, a little bigger. As we saw with Yamaguchi earlier as well. Absolutely, yeah. There's just a, an air of confidence to his body language, to the shots that he's hitting, to the way he's constructing rallies. Doing really well. Saying that though, uh, Lu Guangzhou is still in this second game, for now anyway. But he hasn't really got a go-to shot that's been working. And it's been those. Slightly yeah. out, that's been giving him his points, and that's yeah. tied up at five. Sumiyama seems to be kind of play it, building up on that backhand side of Lu Guangzhou, building up there, building up and then going for the kind of longer smash slice into that rear forehand. In this period of the game, anyway. Good net. Oh. Uh, oh, we'll take the luck of the net card. But I, again, it was the same. Six, yeah. Long slice yeah. down that forehand. And maybe this scoreline is being helped a little by the fact that Kanta is now playing on this side of the court Thank as you. well. He's still moving the same way and finding a little bit of error on the left and right in the flanks as you'd expect from here. 6-5 up. There's a net card back for you. One apiece. Karma. Yeah. That works. Balance has been restored to the universe. The universe the is happy. The badminton universe. Right, yeah. <laughs> universe shall always be happy. Yeah. So six all. First time we've seen Kanta risking some serious power into that corner. Again, that was nice great. touch. To go from full power to that, so yeah. to such a delicate Seven, touch, six. takes a lot. There's the full power. There's just the touch. As if it was nothing. <laughs> As if it was nothing, exactly. Makes it look easy. Yeah, yeah. time and his touch has been amazing it's getting like the Coliseum <laughs> almost getting like serious amounts of home support coming in trying to do. Yeah, Lu Guangzhou has held on very well, defended very well. He hasn't really had that many uh, attacking opportunities yeah. in this set so far, whether is, manufactured or just naturally come by. But yeah, he's done well to have a two point lead here. Just gone long. Eight, nine. 
got to be careful in that mid-court section. The shuttle yeah. does just travel both ends, I would say. bit of venom from Tsunayama again now he's back into playing out the rally that's gone wide not having much luck into that corner in this second game this is the biggest lead that Guangzhou's had two points as we head towards the second mid-game interval Samsova <laughs> Nine, ten. And he's not there yet. Yeah, Luke Andrew will be looking to get as much of an advantage being on that side. If he can get this to a third set, he's going to have to take advantage of being on that end. It is the, the slightly more free mm. end. There's slightly less restrictions as to what you can and can't really do. So he'll be, he'll be happy to be up by one or two, but he really needs to seal it off. And that's a good well. way to do it. 11-9. And a chance for him in the second game. Straight on to the offensive from Sunyama at the start of this half of this set. I think he'll be very aware of the few mistakes that he's made in the first Eleven half. All. And we look to be play a little little safer. Well, that's what he needs to do. For sure. He needs to settle himself down to 11 all. Still everything to play for in the second game. Like we say, he does have the wind at his back, so his attack should be more stinging. But it's also just been carrying out that left side. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the question got a now is, is whether he's going to stick with that plan. Yeah. And start going to the right, where he has been finding a lot of good points. Yeah. He's always got a little smile on his face, though. <laughs> That's very important. Yeah. Yama taking no chances whatsoever. Good little sting attack from Guangzhou just to see how it's testing the water. See how it sits. <coughs> oh, it's another great rally. Someone's going to be looking for a little attacking opportunity hey, somewhere. What a shot that was by Suriyama. Oh, it's nicely brought down. Backed off the net a bit too much there smile of appreciation there from Lu Guangzhou. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta, you gotta hand it to your yeah. opponent, they're gonna play good shots. I think he was expecting a, 
down the line, a bit more of a slap. And Guangzhou is just taking, taking the pace off of it, actually, and let it... 39 drop. shots. That's the longest so far. And what it means is that Lu Guangzhou is beginning to get some traction in these rallies. Not just chasing them, beginning to ask some questions. And still, oh, oh, almost had that. It almost thought about it. It. Yeah. it. it thought about going over. Sometimes it does look like it has a mind of its own. That <laughs> shot just when it balances. But again, having good success with that cross smash down the backhand sides. Maybe that's where the space is now. Twelve thirteen. It's good to see Lu Guangzhou finding a bit of traction in this second game. They're still not able to pull away enough. Create a big lead. That's what he needs. Again. Oh, it again. Gone to that corner. Lost it at that corner. Well, I've seen that happen before. Players just so frustrated that that shot isn't working. Yeah. Just keep plugging away. With it. Oh. Once I remember Wang Shixian, mid-court drop shot, she just couldn't make. Hole of the first game. Kept trying it. Kept trying it. Oi. Oh. Well, the crowd are loving it now. Excellent little brush. And then just to have the composure. Look at that, that's great. To dink it back over. Suniyama has fully committed his body into that forehand net. Oh, the crowd loving it. This is his biggest lead so far. That was a great recovery. Late take. Oh, wow. On finally. He's found one down that line. And finally. he did that without thinking. It's yeah. when he was thinking about it. That's when he kept missing it. But this was 100% reflex. Yeah. And he gets it. He'll take that. Maybe that'll give him a little bit more confidence. Yeah. <laughs> but like oh, you see, it's, it's just sorry when you when it's yeah. one of those standard shots, like okay. a, a forehand cross court lift. You <laughs> practice that every day, and then somehow it just doesn't work. on this day, it just doesn't want to work. The one time you need it to work, yeah. it just doesn't work. 13-15. Oh, that's well left. Lulled Lu Guangzhou into playing 15, that shot. 15. Oh, as I said, Lu Guangzhou finding a bit more traction, but definitely not out of the woods yet. Oh, that's a beautiful return. Lu Guangzhou. 16-14. This is getting very interesting now. Yeah, I'd say the balance of this match has been much more, or the set has been much more 50 50 rather than fully. Fully Suniyama, yeah. Tilted in Suniyama's favour, but that's a lovely cross net wonderful. dink. 15 16. Stand up. That's my favourite ca camera angle. Yeah, that's, you see I love the net. So well. I love nice. it. Sunayama just playing into the rally. Oh, it's wonderful. Well, definitely Guangzhou now appreciating that side of the court. Much more unbalanced when he's hitting these shots. So the first set, I feel like there's a bit of panic there. Yeah. Hitting it when he was on the back foot. These ones, he's got two foot getting up under it and placing it where he wants to. Certainly rather than looks hoping. a little bit more confident now. Yeah. Oh, 
court serve for him. That's out. Oh, that was a golden oh. opportunity for Suniyama. I mean, possibly worth a challenge, 15, but 15. he seems to. Yeah, he seems to be fine with it. Yeah. Difficult area you're talking about. That body defense, so difficult. Well played by Lu Guangzhou. But I think Lu Guangzhou just had that racket up and ready for that cross, that forehand cross lift that Suniyama's just not had the hang of in this set. And Lu Guangzhou was ready to take advantage of it. Oh, yeah. Plucked that out the air. Again, so great little setup. Got his body right round it. The seam, there you go. Switches his body position. Gets into his smash mode. Well, well, well. Yes. Yeah. Stinging response. And he's got himself three game points to force it to a third in deciding game. Game point, 17. Oh, this is going to give his confidence. It's going to do it a world of good. If he can convert it. That's Again. Back. That's so funny, yeah. 18, Same shot. 20. I think he's had just as many winners with that cross court half smash as he has errors from that forehand cross lift. Final game. Love all. So, third and final game. 49 minutes on court so Play. far. Play on. Play on. Play on. And as you 
you said, Kirsty, it's about what you learned from the first two games that's going to make the difference here. Whether you can just tweak your style. Well, that's a much better start from Guangzhou. Miyama definitely playing a little bit safer, more down the middle on his attacking yeah. shots on this side to just to get oh. started until that big space presents itself. And it really did, and he fired it off well. Yeah, he'll be looking to get uh, at least a, a couple of points of lead yeah. being on this side. Three um, or four, hopefully. Yeah. He can. And Lu Guangzhou will be looking to close as much of that gap as he can. It's certainly still a situation of Lu Guangzhou needed to break that rhythm down. Good cheeky little change of serve just to just to make Lu Guangzhou think. Another great backhand clear and followed up by a wonderful drop shot. Finding his range. Oh, that yeah. was great. Both players finding really good success with yeah. that cross-court stick. That was a great rally indeed. Control of that rally. Just took too much off of it. Pressure from Lu Guangzhou. Sunyami doing well to survive, and then Lu Guangzhou just putting too much on. He has to be careful of that. It's fine when the shuttle's going down the way, you can hit it as hard as you want, but on those little pop up and overs, you have to be careful. Two all. He's done enough to rattle. Sunayama, mistake there. And from what we've seen in the first two games, the kind of shot that he would have easily put together. Good left from yeah, Sunyama. Really did look. Second look, it was shading out now. Some power from Sunyama. Oh, he oui. think himself there. Good body defense. What a rally. Oh, and then the great, error. Great, great rally. And that's what I mean about maybe he's rattled Sunyama in the yeah. middle of that. He had to reach, uh, recheck himself as to where he was right there. A little adjustment. Puts it high, gives himself time, gives Lu Guangzhou thinking time, and then can't yeah. quite get the, the hitting timing of it. So now, can Sunayama block all that out and just put himself back into that great rhythm he had at the start? And I think, though, at the first game, it was more a question of Lu Guangzhou also warming up. That's a great winner for him. Yep. 
instant shot of the match for, uh, for both players. It's the MVS, most valuable shot. Little cross court net. And he's looking up for it now. Go, go, get ready, get ready. Oh, it's an absolutely epic match having a court one, which you can hear. And <laughs> That's what these two players, Lu Guanju and Kuliyama, are going to have to block out right now. 83 minute thriller between Shi Uchi and Kodai Narioka. Still ongoing. Oh, that was a great little return by Lu Guanju. That looked like it was shading out. Oh, nice. Finding his range now. Seven. I think Luke Wanju did start off a little bit shaky, a little bit um, unconfident in his yeah. in his physicality and his shot making. But I think he's really done well to find well, some rhythm, settle in. As we said, he wasn't having this go-to shot beforehand. Now he seems to be far more easy at looking for those winners down the flanks. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. Just a little yeah. brush off the net. Naturally, the hand would want to take that cross court. Very smart to just keep it straight with a little inside to outside brush. And that one. We have to wait for that to die down a little bit. Yeah. As you can tell, she, she has come through <laughs> on court one. And has almost received a standing ovation, in fact. Uh, that's a great response. You can just see it there on the background of your screen. Meanwhile, on court two, still. Just one point between them. Nice little kind of half smash into the inside hip there. It's really difficult to deal with. Suniyama opting for a forehand or perhaps Backhand would maybe yeah. be a bit more almost that's natural. That's something that Lu Guangzhou has been doing really well. He's yeah. been hitting now just around the body and the hips. Oh, just tipped over. Very, very tight. Oh, I want to see the, uh, the along the net camera angle of this one. Here we go. Oy, oh, I don't know. Right, that looked a little bit iffy. Oh, <laughs> he looked like he may have just Riley broken Hood. the plane of the net there. The well, fine. Northern did have something to say. I don't think it was about that. No. And that was very close to Lu Guangzhou. Anyway, 9 6. crowd have seamlessly moved to this match now. <laughs> Great viewing for them in the Olympic Sports Centre. Oh, bounces off the net. Net cord on net cord. Oh, no, he's looking. not found it. He's looking much more confident now. Absolutely. There's no more kind of half tends to leaves or takes. Yeah, and his footwork as well. He's, he's not shuffling as much. 
bit more. Definitely a little bit more fluke. confident. And once it all comes together, you can really just see the difference. That inside hip again. That seems to be the go-to shot that we were talking about working for him. 11-6, and he's up in the third. Yeah, Shinyama not taking advantage of being on that more free side. But credit to Lu Guanzhou who's Absolutely. not made it easy for him. So back on court for this all important final phase of action here in this final game. They've been on court for an hour. Lu Guangzhou has hit the right form at just the right time by the looks of it. Change of ends. Now, the big question is, is Sunayama going to go for that top left corner again? <laughs> I hope not. Yeah, it's not been his favourite shot. <laughs> not been his favourite shot at all. It's worked once. Yeah. Well, the question, the other question is, is he going to get a chance for that shot? Because Lu Guangzhou right now is finding a lot of great rewards by dropping it into front court and those body defences as well. His body shots working out well for him. Suyama is now almost caught in his rally. It's a long way to go if that cross shot gets picked up and then that just sticks, that steep stick down. Having a lot of success with that. This is such a good example of it's not how you start, it's how you finish. Yes. Because yes, this, this match was not Lu Guangzhou's in no. the first set. It, far from it. It was snatchy, it was impatient. And fair play to him. He's managed to find yeah. figure it out and find some form. Oi! How about that? That's what a return. Yeah. The thing is you have to close down the straight line you have to be so aware of that because it's the it's the shortest distance but to get across for that cross court yeah. if it comes is a tough ask biggest lead for Lu Guangzhou that we've seen so far oh, these errors creeping in now it's a nine point lead you're absolutely right this is a complete turnaround of fortunes Lu Guangzhou has risen to the occasion. That's, yeah. that's what it's all about. I and really thought we would be uh, saying good night, yeah, two we'd sets. Be, we'd be congratulating Sunyama for a wonderful performance. But now, as I said, he seems to be caught yeah. in his rally. And these winners that Guangzhou was struggling with beforehand, now he's just firing them off like another day at the office. Yeah, and Sunyama will struggle with the length even more here. He'll want to make it even more perfect so that Guangzhou's attack has less sting in it, but the it's temptation so of it is going to be too much for him. He has to do something to yeah. overturn this 10 point deficit from the weaker side. And Lu Guangzhou can now, as I think we're seeing, just do exactly what Kant is doing and just play out the rallies. Oh, that's tricky. That's out. Yeah. It's fully out. I think it's interesting that since uh, Xi Yuki finished on the other court, fortunes have gone Lu Guangzhou's way. Yeah. All the energy of the it's Chinese support in yeah. this hall 
has... Uh, we were talking about how important is home support. Well, it just shifted seamlessly yeah. as soon as Shiyu Chi won over here. And look at the scoreline. Absolutely. Maybe Lu Guan is a performer. He knows all the eyes are on him now. Yeah. And, he and wants also, to I mean, this is... Well, it's worrying for all the other contenders of semi-final Saturday and final Sunday because this place is going to be full to the rafters, I can tell you that. Absolutely. Now, that was a good shot from Tsunayama. That was almost a throwback to what we've seen, it seems, so long ago now in the uh, first game. But, as I said, he's got a lot more of that to do. Seven seventeen. If he wants a shot at the semis. Oh, that's wonderful from Lu Guangzhou. Plucks it out of the air again. And it's a perfect cross court line to line. Well, just, I don't know, half an hour ago, I was saying that he couldn't string three points together. Yeah. And look at this. I was right, obviously, he couldn't string three points together, and now he's found a way out. Oh, that's great defense. Smart play by Guangzhou. And he goes for a big oh, one. Line again. It's a bounce of the tape. Wonderful stuff. Impressive. To be able to do it time and time and time again. Without making it, without wanting to be more precise, without wanting to put a little bit extra on it, same weight, same shot. Yeah. The consistency of it is so impressive. Well, unsurprisingly, the smile has been wiped from Kanta Sunayama's face. Well, he'll take that. But frankly, Eight, that's 19. not enough. Stand up, stand up. I told you not to take it out. No. Yeah, big ass to come back from big, such big. a deficit. It's mathematical now. No delay, Ganda. Yeah. yeah, I think Sunyama's only hope is to be dominant at the net, but that's proving to be very difficult. Oh, that's another and one. Again. How about that? Look at the smile on the Chinese coach's face. They've cracked it. That's whatever, the, whatever the code is, they've cracked it. So 12 match points to Lu Guangzhou, and I don't think either of us were going to think we were going to say that. No. 12. Fair play to the man. Absolutely. He's done well. And oh, he's he'll take the that. Court as well. What a way to 21 do it. 21 8. It's just. Blitzing in the third and final game. 67 minutes. And whether it was the crowd or not, Lu Guangzhou and Shi Yu Chi have both made it through to the semi finals. And for Kanta Suyama, well, you can take a lot of encouragement from that first game. But you've just seen people, wherever you are watching from around the world, how quickly fortunes can change on a badminton court. China powers on, and the home crowd is loving it. Oh, fantastic performance to close out the action here on court two. And there's confirmation of it, 14-21. 21-18, 21-8 in 67 minutes. And Lu Guangzhou is through for the semi-finals. And with that, just uh, first of all, thanks Kirsty Gilmore for joining us in the commentary box. And don't forget everyone watching at home that day five semi-finals, session one, it's going to be at 10 a.m. local time, session two at 5 p.m. local time. Don't miss it. To each and every one of you, have a great evening.